Welcome back to Twin Cities Live. It's an award-winning food, fashion, and fun episode of Twin Cities Live. We are at Alamo Draft House in Woodbury, and we are just loving all the magic of being in the I movie just theater. I love being in the movies. I know. It's I fun. feel like I'm in the movies. <laughs> there are nine <laughs> movies up for Best Picture at this year's Academy Awards. That can feel a little overwhelming. It can, but our movie critic has chosen three of those movies that he says you have to see. Here from the website, Paul's trip to the movies. We welcome Paul McGuire Grimes. Hi, Paul. Wow, you are our movie you. guy. Are, we, are we in I'm, your house? Place? You basically are like I love it here at the Alamo. I come here all the time for all the like their movie parties yes, and like hopped up cinema, so ordering all the like fun drinks and menu items. Do it's you remember the first movie you ever saw in a movie theater? Because I know you fell in love with movies very young. So young. If I if I remember correctly, and my memory only works with movies, is that it was probably <laughs> an American Tale. Do you remember Five? Yes. yes. And I think I saw that when I was probably five. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, what, what's the song? Yeah, oh, you guys. Come true. <laughs> this got really like special. I <laughs> oh, love it. It's a moment. Oh. If they ever yes. showed that here, you could uh, sing. You guys could sing yes. right at the front. Oh, that we can harmonize. Yes, but it does feel overwhelming with the best pictures because mm -hmm. it's like there's nine, and you. it, it is definitely two. more fun to watch the Academy Awards if you've seen some of the movies. Yes. Exactly. So I wanted to p point out three that really, I think, are the three front runners for best picture right now. Starting okay. with Parasite. Yeah. So this is from South Korea, and it's about a poor family that lie and manipulate their way into working for a wealthy family, and that is just the beginning of the trip, the ride that this movie goes on. So this, Kelly, question. No, I'm, I've am i seen the preview for right. it, and I, I don't know if I want to see it. You do. Okay. Because you will have, if you want an original movie that you have never seen before, wow. a movie that you will have no idea where it's going, and then you get to the last frame and you're like, oh, so that's where this movie oh. went. That is Parasite. And I really want to recommend it because I think sometimes people think, oh, foreign films, I don't want to read, that's tricky. I, I don't know these characters of this story. Yeah. But test your boundaries. Go outside it. Learn someone else's story and think how does that relate to our life, our everyday, about wealth class, wealth families, and how do we respond to other people that may be lower or above us in wealth? Every time I watch a movie with subtitles, I end up forgetting that I'm reading. You get used to it yeah, right away. You get, and then you're kind of like, oh, all right. So how many ticket stubs so did you give I this So I gave one? it four out of five. I think that it could, it's definitely going to win international feature film. I think it could be a surprise winner for best director for Bong Joon-ho. Maybe best picture. There's a lot of love right now for Parasite after its SAG award for best ensemble. Very exciting. Okay, yeah. the next movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Brad now, Pitt is back. I, I watched this on an airplane Did you? Oh. and I I don't know, Paul. I, oh, need, to, I need to okay. hear what you okay. think. So this is about an era in Hollywood. 1969, we're seeing the decline of Leonardo DiCaprio's character as an actor, and then the rise of Sharon Tate, played by Margot Robbie. Mm -hmm. So it's a Quentin Tarantino movie through and through. He loves Hollywood. He loves history. But it's not as violent. It's not as profane as some of his other, other movies. I mean, the ending, for sure, as oh, you know. But you're also airplane. kind of <laughs> laughing at the same time through yes. how Quentin writes it. And I think Brad Pitt will for sure win Best Supporting he Actor. He was great. He may, uh, Quentin Tarantino may win Best Original Screenplay. That also may go to Bong Joon-ho for Parasite. But I think you have to love Hollywood. I think you have to love that era. You'll recognize other, like Steve McQueen as a character in it, Bruce Lee as a character in it. Yeah. And you'll recognize a lot of actors in it too, like Bruce Dern, Leo. Um, Lena Dunham is in it for five seconds. Really? Like, just a variety. And just know it, that going in, it's a little slow. But and you have to know a little bit about the Manson Ranch and all of that, yes, right? You kind of yes. have to know the history, which I didn't know. And oh. then once I learned, mm -hmm. then I was like, oh, this makes total sense. And I, Elizabeth, I know you love doing research after kind of seeing these types of movies. So I think yeah. you will want you to, should. like, oh, look into the Manson murders mm -hmm. and just... If you don't know a lot about it, or you know, that's kind of how the movie ends. Well, right. It wouldn't surprise me if Brad Pitt wins and Brad Pitt gets more attention because I think everybody in Hollywood is just loving the resurgence of Brad Pitt, and exactly. they love that he is a bona fide movie star. And he's the only actor in that category that does not have an acting Oscar yet. Oh, so all the other actors in that category all have. I mean, they're all goats. Like they're all like our greatest actors right now. For and sure. They're all up in the same category. Ticket stubs for this one. So four out of five for that. I continue to love it more and more with every viewing I watch. Okay, I'll it. give it another go. Okay, okay. last one that you. <laughs> think that we should see it is a really important film and i keep hearing who people who see it just say wow that was really meaningful and this is 1917 yes it's a world war one story and it's from sam mendes and it's really about two young soldiers that are on a mission to hopefully save their battalion and it is shot to make a look as if it's one long continuous take it's told in real time it is wow. beyond stressful it is beyond this is why you go to a movie theater at the alamo right. to see it because you want it on the big screen you want to feel like you're in the trenches with these two guys and we don't know a lot about World War One. Right. I think the, the further we get away from that, we don't. So we need movies like this to tell history. And again, 
what can we learn from this movie to mm-hmm. apply into our real everyday life? So that's a movie you really think worth seeing. Seek it out and see it on the big screen. So mm-hmm. this one, the Golden Globe for Best Picture. This one, the Producers Guild Award for Best Picture. This one, um, the DGA for Sam Mendes, Directors Guild. So this is winning all the Guild Awards. Ten out of the 12 last Producers Guild Awards have gone on to win Best Picture. So I really think that oh. this was going to win Best Picture. And this also picture. gets your highest rating of the three we've talked Four and about. Four and a half out of five. Again, another movie that I really love every time I watch. And I've seen it a couple of times now because, I mean, why only watch a movie? once. I remember you met the cast, too. That's yes. got to make you love it even more. Yeah, it was really <laughs> special helps. to talk to them and interview them. And those are up on my YouTube channel, Paul Strip Movies yeah. on YouTube. And oh, you can Paul. see that movie right now here at the Alamo. It's yes. playing, and I you saw say it on the marquee see it over there. In, on the big screen. Absolutely. And then order all the foods, and you can just stress <laughs> eat the yes. whole time. That's the best part of stress. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Thank Paul. You, we Paul. appreciate you. it. Well, you can visit Paul's website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for more movie reviews. You can also listen to Paul on the Colleen and Bradley show on My Talk 1071 every Friday or watch him on his YouTube channel also called Paul's Trip to the Movies. So great.